Booth Police. The Saif Ali Khan Arjun Kapoor film makes for those who like the ghost genre of cinema. <coughs> Typically, there is no logic. It takes a huge holiday. This time, it takes a holiday at Dharamshala. So, it's quite a nice place to be holidaying. Of course, for the characters in the film, they are holidaying alongside a booth. You have uh, Chiranji and Vibhuti brothers, they are called the Vaidya brothers, with uh, Vibhuti, the elder brother, played by Saif Ali Khan Patoni, and the younger brother, uh, Chiranji, played by Arjun Kapoor. So Khan Kapoor meet as siblings who are out as exorcists or as tantrics, as we may call them, trying to make a quick buck in people's belief that ghosts do exist. The film ends up telling you that they do. What happens with the story is that uh, while the elder brother Vibhuti is a clear con, the younger brother Chiranji is uh, half belief, half doesn't. But they go around, they have a first incident to establish the character where they go and exercise a booth with uh, mantras such as uh, Night Indram, sun in, Sunrise Indram, Sundayum, etc., etc. There is the educate girls to save girls thrown in. There is that kind of political or contemporary relevance thrown into the story. But they go out to a spirit festival where by accident, Chiranji finds a book left behind by his father. And that's where he also runs into Maya, Yami Gautam. And uh, the brothers are now invited to Dharamshala, where Yami has a problem with a local ghost who they are now called upon to throw the ghost away. How they chase the ghost away? In the midst of uh, Maya's sister, Kaunika, played by Jacqueline Fernandez, who disbelieves the existence of a ghost and also sees through Vibhuti very early. So you have the believer and the cynic, and you have the two brothers trying to chase a ghost, which exists or does not exist. You will have to watch the movie. Chasing them as they are chasing the ghost, this Chedila Javed Jafri, the local policeman, who seems to have nothing else to do except catch these two guys. He spent the cinema time completely, not even at a police station by chance, not even in a dress of an inspector once. Fair enough. You don't see too much of logic in a film of this kind. You have typically those scenes in Dharmshala where the Ghost goes berserk, goes vertical, goes horizontal, does all that, changes face, changes color, wears those lenses, etc. One scene when they creep, they remove a worm out of Saif Ali Khan's mouth is eeks. I'm sure better taste could have prevailed in that kind of a scenario. If that's the way you want to make people feel creepy about ghosts, you sure have done so. Well, as usual, it's a ghost film, so the director does not have much to do with logic. And here, surely, he lives up to that expectation. But Pawan Kiplani, I think, does one thing interesting. He gets the cast of the two protagonists' idea. You have Saif Ali Khan with his one-liners and poker face. Does a very good job of it. And then you have Arjun as that innocent, lost in the island, character who also does full justice to his character. It is Saif and Arjun who save an otherwise completely unrecommendable film. Jacqueline Fernandez and Yami Gautam have nothing to do and that's exactly what they do in the film. They do just nothing. Both of them are flaunting what they're asked to wear by their uh, respective uh, designers clueless about what designers think of when they put these heroines into those kind of costumes. 
then too much of humor except when you find a one liner here or there which uh, but then if you think uh, nightendram sunrise indram sun sunday indram mantras is your line of humor you can laugh at it one or two good ones like uh, he telling the shikari that this is the job of a tantric not shikari shambhu the ghost busters don't bust the ghost mystery or the myth they only perpetuate it however there's amazing cinematography by jay krishna gumadi he captures dharamshala in all its beauty and also the interiors very very well pictureized and yet if you are in a mood of indulgence then watch this movie not because you're going to get wiser on ghosts not because you're going to get scared with ghost films but because arjun kapoor and saif ali khan give come out with decent performances otherwise bhoot police is as avoidable as either bhoot or the police i will sign off with my customary thanks to abhinav this time and uh, miss uh, tatu because he's out somewhere doing something else so abhinav takes the entire cake today thank you bye bye